Welcome to the agenda. It's Tuesday. I hope everybody had a good Jared Stidham day yesterday. Now that he's the starting quarterback, Brandon, what are your expectations? Well, my expectations remain the same as far as what I was predicting back in May because I thought Jared Stidham was going to be the quarterback then, like everybody else. I, I've got Auburn winning about 10 games. Uh, I don't know if that's including the postseason or not, but yeah. I think this is a team capable of getting to double-digit wins, uh, not with relative ease, but – with that expectation that fans should hold, nine wins or more, I think ten wins is realistic with this team, postseason included. They've got a tough schedule, but Jarrett Stidham is going to be able to extend the field, as we've long said. And most importantly, I love the way the kid carries himself, his confidence. Once he backs it up on the field in the first game or two, that could really take this Auburn team far. Well, he, everything's great with Jarrett Stidham. We found that out yesterday. Other than that, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, obviously he's not going to win a game at a press conference. Um, it'll be interesting. You know, uh, there's there's a lot of question marks still in the offense, what the offensive line looks like, what the receivers look like. Uh, he know he, he knows Eli Stove is not as tall as Sal Canella, but he couldn't tell us who the top receivers are going to be. I think that's a big question, how the chemistry look. And, you know, people have kind of downplayed his layoff. But 600 days plus without a game uh, is a long time. Uh, so I think it'll be interesting, especially that Clemson game, because that's a kind of a pivotal moment. It's early in the season, but that could dictate kind of how things go. Um, I think it should be, should be a 10-win team with this defense, with the running game. Uh, but I don't think it's a given necessarily. No, the schedule's tough. And, and the, the difference between a good season and a great season for this Auburn team this season is going to be the LSU game on the road. If Auburn can go to LSU and beat LSU on the road for the first time in 18 years, this is going to be a great season because that is not going to be easy for any team to do this season. I don't know if LSU is going to be one of the top three or two teams in the SEC, yeah. but that doesn't matter because Auburn has not been able to go down there and win. If they win, it's going to be a great season. It ended Jeremy Johnson's career essentially going down and playing there. Uh, it's, yeah. it's just not an easy place to play.